Alright, what's up YouTube? Um, this is part 3 of how to make an SPRX. So, last time we left off with how to spawn the HUDs, like open and close the menu. So, now we're going to start off with uh, scrolling. So, I want to make a void. Do update scroll. Int client. Okay, inside this you want to make a for loop. You want to put int. I use um, X instead of I because it's not clients, it's for scrolling, so I do equals 1. So the 1 is for the scroll that you start on, and we start with option 1 instead of 0, I don't know, I just like doing that better. Then you do X. This is where you put the amount that you have, so say we have 6, you want to do 1 more than that, so instead of 6 we'll put 7. Then you do x plus plus. Okay, inside of the for loop, you want to do options, client, x, and then elem dot font, font scale equals. Okay, so this is going to be the default one. So we put 1.4 for the font scale so we just want to put 1.4 so after you're done like scrolling the scroll that you're not on it sets it back to the normal scroll size okay below that you want to do options client x it's weird arrow shit elm dot glow color oh what did i do Oh, forgot the S, my bad. Elm dot gold color dot A for alpha. You want to put that to 255 so that you can see it because that's the transparency or whatever. So the glow color is up here in your text as you can see at the end. Um, you want to put all these at zero as you did when we started off this tutorial. So this is going to be red. So if you guys want to know a website that you can go to see, like change the colors and whatnot, go to um, colorpicker.com. I'll put it in the description. Okay, so below this, you just want to hit enter, put options, client, up here, okay. Uh, make a bool, or I mean an int, for int scroll, and then put 18, just like that. Uh, it can be anywhere really as long as it's above the function that you're working on so then you want to put scroll client and then close it like that you want to put elm dot glow color dot a for alpha again equals zero actually yeah, I did that backwards Put this one to 2.55, I mean 255, and put this one up here to 0. That one resets it. This one changes it. I don't know why, I got mixed up. Anyways, down here, put HUDs. I don't know why that says phone scale over time. That's okay though. But yeah, anyways, do that. Options. And then you want to make client. And here you want to do scroll again. Client, comma, the font size. So this is what you want it to be, the size that your scroll is on. So if it's red, uh, I usually do it up by 2, like 0 0.2, so I'll put 1.6. Okay, so that's how you make that function. So now we're going to go down to um, make the, oops, I just dropped something. Okay, now you want to go down and make the scrolling. So this is what you have to type. Just I already did it just because. And this function that you see inside, this stops the thread. So since SPRX is so fast, when you're scrolling, it uh, it'll scroll down a lot of times, uh, which is really kind of insane. So this just stops it so it only scrolls down once at a time. You can use sleeps instead if you want, but it slows it down for the clients, and this way it doesn't. So anyways, yeah, inside of this, you want to have 
um, scroll I uh, minus minus or hyphen whatever you guys want to call that then you want to make if scroll I one yeah just like that okay inside of this so you want to put scroll I equals this is where you want to put max scroll uh, we need to make another int so we'll just go up here int max scroll 18 just like that max scroll i and then end it like that and then right below this you just want to put update scroll i just like that all right and then down here uh for down here you can just copy that because you're gonna be doing basically the same thing instead of it being minus you want to put plus signs and then for up here you want to put the max scroll max scroll i and then down here you just want to put one so basically it's just the reverse of that all right so yeah that's all you have to do for the scrolling so i'll just show you guys the selection really quick before i go to my ps3 so make another else if buttons detect button i comma buttons x and and whoops and you open okay so in here you just want to make like a activate function basically so we're gonna make the actual function for that first okay so you want to make another void for this uh, you want to do void menu selection let's go with that uh, int i comma char menu comma int scroll just like that inside of this you want to put uh, if menu equals equals I just put a main menu or you can put the title of your menu it doesn't really matter that much okay so uh, you want to go to your d-pads so when you open the menu you want it to be actually we need to make another function really quick so go boot or no actually okay <laughs> char cur menu 18 just like that so you want to put cur menu i equals main menu this is just making it so when you open the menu it's going to be on this menu so that's how this knows what to select and what not to select all right so inside of this you want to put if scroll equals equals one so this means as soon as you open the menu and you're on scroll one which is the very first sub menu it's going to open that sub menu so you want to put actually yeah we don't actually have to do that right now we'll scroll down to the x again you want to put a menu selection i yeah go down to your x you want to put menu selection make um an array yeah that's pretty sure that's what we called it 
yeah okay inside of this um array you just want to put no i meant to put a i can't even think of what's called a bracket or whatever i and then you want to do cur menu i comma this is where you put scroll scroll i so just a simple function like that then you just want to put update scroll all right so that way when you open the sub menu it's on scroll number one again it's not it doesn't go down to some random scroll so we're actually just going to put this again so that it doesn't spam the button x so basically if you have like god mode in there you don't want it to be turning on and off just by clicking it once my bad i just try to get rid of those messages anyways um yeah let's make a function for god mode really quick so I'm just gonna go up here namespace mods you can call that whatever you want it doesn't really matter like functions or whatever uh, you want to put bool whatever you want for that I just put GM for god mode and you want to put void god mode in client you want to put if gm, which is your bool. Actually, I forgot one thing. You want to put or 18, just like that. Then you want to put client equals equals false. You put else. Yeah. So you want to put gm client equals true so that means if it's false after it activates god mode it equals true and then else means if it's true you're gonna make it false so gm client equals false just like that now we're gonna make the function like for god mode or whatever so you put a star bracket char star and this is where we need to offset so god mode Offset, comma, you want to put uh, another bracket, you want to put 0x, zero, 0x280, zero which is the client interval for god mode, and then you put star client equals, this is where you put the bytes, so for god mode on it's ff, so 0x ff, so that's god mode on down here it's the same thing just put zero zero to turn it off I'm pretty sure yep okay so that's a god mode function just like that so we want to go back down here instead of opening a sub menu I'm just gonna make it um, god mode just to show you guys that it will work mods god mode I all right and then if scroll equals equals 2 we're going to make this one open sub menu 2 so you want to put um, cur menu i equals sub menu 2 just like that I put scroll i equals 1 just so that it does do it for sure and then you want to put max scroll i equals this is going to be however many scrolls is or options that are inside of your submenu too so for example we have six submenus so i'm just going to put six for max scroll okay you want to put huds change text uh we have menu title so I'm just gonna copy that so change text menu title I comma and then the text that you want to change it to so if we're going to submenu 2 you want to change it to submenu 2 
then you want to do HUDs, change text, options, I, and then option 1, comma, option 1. Just like that. And then you're going to copy this and paste it. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. And then you want to change these also. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we'll hit save. Alright, so this should open uh, submenu 2 and change all the text. Okay, so uh, I'll meet you guys on the PS3 and we'll go test this out. Alright. Alright, so as you guys can see, we're back at the PS3. So, start it up. And as I told you before in the last tutorial, it will take a little bit to load up. So, mine took about 30 seconds this time, which I guess it varies, I'm not really sure why or how.